everyone, Bill Nichols, Bill Nichols TV. Today I wanna to bring you a short video on six quick tips that I use in Premiere to speed up my workflow, my editing. I use a lot more than these six, but these six are probably six of my most frequent ones. And I'll do a couple more videos with little bite-sized chunks of things that you can do to speed up your workflow. So let's jump into speeding up your workflow in Premiere. All right, so I've got a um, video open that I did a long time ago down in Laguna Beach with my Phantom 4, and it's already got some edit points in there. It's already been cut, everything else. So I'm gonna show you some really quick keyboard tips that I go through to speed up my workflow when I'm editing and things that I use. I'll start off really quick with showing you how you find all the keyboard shortcuts and how you assign them. And I'm just gonna show you some of the five or six most valuable ones that I find. All right, so let's jump into Premiere here. So right off the bat, if you go to Premiere Pro, Pro CC up here, whatever you're using, come down to keyboard shortcuts. It's gonna pop open and it's gonna show you all of the assigned keyboard shortcuts. So you've got the hand tool, shuttle left, shuttle stop, rolling edit, ripple edit, all that. So you can go in here and you can select any of these and assign your own. So there are some shortcuts that are multiple keys. You could change those to a single key with a function key or something else you know, that's not assigned and just assign your own. And, um, or you can go into ones that aren't assigned and create your own. I'm not gonna go into that today, but I wanted to show you really quickly where you go in Premiere to find the currently assigned keyboard shortcuts. All right, so now let's just jump into some real basic ones that I use, five or six quick tips, couple minute video, that's it. So the first thing that I probably use almost more than anything is expanding, is zooming in and zooming out of my timeline. And the way that you do that is on the keyboard with just minus and plus, minus to zoom out, and then the plus sign, you can zoom in all the way to a single frame level. So that's it, minus and plus to zoom in and zoom out of your timeline. And we'll stay zoomed in just a little bit as I go through these next ones. So there's a couple of ways in Premiere that you can add a cut or an edit point. And um, so I've got this DJI underscore 0024.mov clip. I wanna cut this. So I could press C on the keyboard, that brings up the razor and cut. But then that's selected anywhere else that I go on here. If I accidentally press, I'm gonna cut again. So I need to undo that. So I don't really use the razor as much. What I do instead is where this playhead is, I just put it where I wanna put a cut, and then I press Command K. So I can just go right in, Command K, Command K. And then, and what that does is that is going to set a cut point on that specific track. Now, if I wanna change that, Let's undo all these. Let's say that I wanna cut all the way through. So I wanna cut through the audio and through all the tracks. Hold down Shift and go Command K. And now it puts an edit point you can see all the way through the timeline there. So Command K, cut that one track. Shift Command K, cut all the way through. Let's go to the next one. A lot of times what I'll find that I need to do is I wanna to jump to a particular edit point. And instead of going here and trying to get right to it, if I just press up and down, so up will go backwards to the previous edit point and down will go forward to the next edit point. Then I'm going to the next edit point on that clip or on that timeline. And I can just really quickly navigate to my cut points here. So just up to go back, down to go forward. If you've ever wanted to move clips in Premiere, a lot of times what I did before I knew about this shortcut was I would grab all of my clips, I would make a space, drop a new clip in. Let's say that I wanna swap a clip in here. So I'm just gonna really quickly add a, um, Add a couple cut points in here. Let's go Command K. Come over here, Command K. Okay, so now I've got a whole bunch of clips in here. If I was just to grab one of these and move them over, it's going to, one, it's gonna leave a space, but then it's also going to cut and get rid of that footage that I just dropped that on. So now this clip here, this clip here have been disrupted because this one's been put over the top and it's cut right in there. But maybe I don't wanna do that. Maybe I just wanna swap it. So I wanna put it in there without affecting the gaps in the timeline. So I just want everything to shift over one way or the other when I drop it in. So an example, I will grab DJI 0023 here, hold down command and option, move it over, and I will just set it right here. You'll see now everything else moved out of the way and it didn't mess up the timeline. And then another quick one is um, if I have all of my clips, all of my media selected with control A, and then I wanna unselect that, instead of having to click up here or click outside of that window, just shift, shift command A or shift control A on the PC and you'll unselect. 
So like I said, short video today. I wanted to show you some of my keyboard shortcuts that I use on Premiere. I'll put these down below in the description so that you can see them, but just some stuff that I use to really speed up my workflow so that I can edit quicker, try and get my hands off the mouse more and more onto the keyboard. That's how I like to work anyway. And hopefully these are helpful to you. So thanks for watching guys. Keep watching and subscribe below if you haven't for lots of tips. I've got a lot more time coming up, so a lot more videos are gonna be happening. So thanks so much for joining me, for watching. You keep watching, I'll keep making videos. Talk to you soon.